What's up everybody? Fantastically beautiful day here in Oregon, as usual. Actually, that part was a lie, usually it's crap. But today happens to be a beautiful day. And uh, I'm doing what I love, my favorite thing in the world, driving a Toyota really long distances to buy more Toyota parts. Most of which I don't actually need. In fact, let me think here. Yeah, no, don't need any of it at all. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get it anyway. Um, I'm yes. going to get two sets of bench seats for Toyotas, um, varying years. I think they're both from like the at least 80s or at the most 80s, probably 90s. I'm gonna get a, another tailgate, a white tailgate to the previous generation of these, the uh, the Hilexes, 75 to 78 ish. And what else am I getting? Oh yeah, uh, also getting a transmission in a transfer case for a 1984 Toyota pickup. No, uh, I didn't wreck the transmission on this yet. It actually still shifts really nicely since I put new fluid in it and it seems like it's been babied its whole life. Honestly, this truck's doing great. Sticky that is, but anyway, it's a 1984 and now I'm gonna have a spare. Um, fuck, I'm getting the transmission and the transfer case for 60 bucks. So what are you gonna do? I mean, even if it's blown up, it's good for parts, but apparently it works. Apparently it's in working good condition. That's what we're doing. All right, I'm here. Um, park next to an 80s 4Runner. It's all clapped out, just like the turd. It's perfect. I'm going to go get a shot here in a second. Um, but the chick's going to be here any second. So, kind of just waiting on that. Just look how awesome this fucking view is. Best view ever. I love this little truck. Like literally the tack stopped working, the speedometer stopped working, um, the temperature gauge does still work and the fuel gauge, believe it or not, actually works. I think I've mentioned that in a previous video or two, so that's pretty cool. Um, but nothing else works, including the radio because although it works itself, there's no speakers attached to it. You can kind of see the aftermarket wiring kind of hanging down back over there. Um, yeah, there were some clapped out speakers in this thing when I first got it. So I just ripped them out and I haven't, just, I haven't dealt with it yet. And I got an aftermarket dash, painted it several different colors, trying to match this color or like the more like less fleshy color that that this is. So eventually this is going to come out and get a different color. But all of that you guys know from other videos. Yeah, the turn's not that bad on the inside. It's getting a little gross in here, but that cleans up really well. There's another first gent over there getting coffee too. It's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Probably like a 1986 is my guess. Pretty cool. Ooh, it's got the flappy fuel door like they all have. That's cool. Oh yeah, confession guys, this is actually the maiden voyage since I've like lowered the truck officially. Um, it rides like shit, like really like shit. And it's a little bit taller in the front still. I think I'm gonna have to lower the front. The back, not much I can do about that. That's, just, that's on blocks, so not much I can do about that without redoing it. I gotta ins inspect my uh, uh, steering linkage. The steering is super freaking loose. So I'm just gonna see if, uh... oh yeah, it's in pretty bad shape. That rag joint, that's what it's called. The rag joint's in pretty bad shape, just visually. Although, oh yeah, it does have a little bit of play. That's just with my hand turning the shaft. Okay. That's just with me doing this. So a little bit of play in the rag joint, but probably a little bit too much. Um, and then when I'm doing that, no movement whatsoever in the wheels. So either the box is fucked, or... Or the steering... The steering arm is loose, but somehow I doubt that. Jesus, dude, I think the box itself is loose. That's not normal, huh? Just gonna have a little Toyota convention. Fuck yeah, dude, nice truck. <laughs> I saw you behind me, I thought you were gonna park next to me. Uh, no, I know the girl that drives that Toyota. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'm actually here just to get a bunch of parts. I just saw it. I figured I'd park next to it. Get a bunch of parts? I might just hang around. I haven't driven 
missing for about four years and just dug it out of the garage. What is it in, 80? Yeah. I used to have a blue 80. Don't ever sell it, dude. I'm pissed to this day. Actually, that's why it's out of the garage. You gonna sell it? Yeah, I don't know. I just got it spoiled by carpet, air conditioning, and crew cap. So I got into the S10 scene, and now I just straight out to swap all those. I've had this since high school. What do you want for it? On it. Huh? How much do you want for it? Okay. Two? Man, I missed my 80. And the guy gave it to me away with me with a five-speed transmission for 600 bucks. Hell yeah. So, yeah, I've had it for about 15 years. Like I said, I learned to weld on it. It's not coming apart, but it ain't pretty. Yeah. But two, two grand is tempting, man, honestly. So you took it out, you're making sure it runs. Little impromptu uh, Toyota meet. We'll get his number and see if I can get him down to a grand, guys. Don't worry. All right, dude. Well, uh, yeah. Let me think about it. Maybe I'll shoot you an offer. It's still pretty straight. I never beat the shit out of it. I mean, I give it a rent for its money in the snow. You might think about a uh, think about a number that's not two grand, but not a grand, and uh, maybe we can work out a deal. Sure. Howdy. Good timing. All right, we're having an impromptu uh, Toyota meet right now. You want to go ahead and just back your pickup up right here to the back of this? Um, sure. You mind if I just throw this in the back right, real quick? Okay. Let's back it up. Oh my god, my life is hilarious. Let's see here. By the way, you guys mind being on my YouTube channel? Huh? I don't care. Cool. What's uh what's the story on this? It works uh, everything? Yeah, a buddy of mine he fucking he he uh, built a rock crawler out of his and he just took this out and he dual transfer case did or whatever. Yeah. And sat outside a little bit, but I'm not worried about that as long as it works. Yeah. It Um I don't so, know, this this uh this might be more of a risk than I want to take on this transmission right here. I mean, I know it works. Works good. She changed his motor too, so. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. I brought you guys all the way out here. What an interesting life that I have. I, I get kind of tripped up when other people are around, so uh, my apologies for sounding like a freaking idiot, but um, but yeah, basically I just got a bunch of crap I don't need, and uh, I will use in the future though, for sure. Um, supposedly this came out of a second gen 4Runner, 88, 89 is what they said. Um, never seen this particular style before, but uh, that's cool. Maybe it'll fit in my wife's truck, she wanted a bench seat, and that provides me a cool little project to redo right there, because that is, uh, clapped out got myself another tailgate I was hoping I didn't see the back of it but uh, until right now but I was hoping that it would that I had the back piece but it doesn't so not a huge deal I'm gonna use it exactly for what I bought it for I bought it for 40 bucks and uh, I'm gonna use it to build a bench I think so or I'm gonna tell myself that to justify the 40 bucks I spent um, then there's these like pretty padded cushy seats here seems like they've been out in a wet shop for a little bit but that's not a huge deal they're in good shape they're actually they look pretty comfy um, so when the time comes that I need seats I guess he said they came out of a two-wheel drive Toyota um, I'll mock them up and see if I can get them in here but yeah they might be for one of these little two-wheel drives that I have so seats are always nice right, last but not least we got the uh, 
I don't think it's a W56 at this point in 1984. I think it's still like the G, G52, I want to see, I want to say, or L52, one of, one of the two. Um, but it's a five-speed transmission. It's probably fucking broken, but for 60 bucks, um, if that transfer case is in halfway decent shape, that, that transfer case right there is worth 60 bucks by itself. Plus, I have parts to rip out of this one or whatever. So um, I'll tag and bag this one for later on. And, uh, you know, that's it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video here. It's long enough, so thanks for watching. Figured I'd, I'm going to start trying to start making, um, you know, daily-ish videos. You know the whole story, blah, blah, blah. YouTuber trying to be more of a YouTuber. So I appreciate your support. If you guys don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we really appreciate it. All right, guys, peace out. See you. Good morning. Are you the one with the Forerunner? Yeah, that's right. Awesome. I was uh, meeting somebody for parts from one of my Forerunners. And uh, some other dude, I guess he knows you, he showed up too. We had like a little impromptu uh, Toyota meet. I know, I seen you guys. I was like, owner, oh, no. if that guy's pickup's all right, he's sitting over there with the hood up. He goes, I'm going to pull up next to him. I'm like, do it. It's, it's the Yoda log. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Yeah. He what, what's the story on yours? Um, it's an 88. It was my boyfriend's, but it's mine now. Nice. That's how it works. At home. That's how it works. But I can't get the back window to go down. Yeah, that's a problem they all have. I've got uh, two 86s actually, same body style. One's red, and yeah, they both have wired in switches aftermarket because it's a pain in the ass. It's a bunch of wires that make that fail. Yeah, it must have some electrical issues because I've tried to like get yeah. the window to go back down. Every time I stick a fuse in there, it blows out. It yeah. almost caught on fire one time, too. I was like, all right, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not even going to try to go there. <laughs> you might want to look into the fire issue. Yeah. But, and that's the red one out there? No, that's the 88. Well, I know, but that, that one's got the 22RE in it, right? This one is. Yeah. You don't want to sell this one, do you? No. Okay. Yeah, I gotta try. Hundred seventy uh, thousand, really? I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. It's not a straight axle. Black one has yeah, that's more typical, honestly. You this, whipped yeah, whipped cream would be cool. This one only says eighty-four thousand, but it's missing a number, so it's really hard to tell. Yeah. You know, I don't even know how much that cost. I was talking Toyotas. I get I get in a frenzy. I'm like, I don't care. Sure, I'll take that part too. Sure, I'll take that part. I had to finish. Um, I had to finish the video with you know talking to all three. So plus I now I have to wait like an hour for this guy to show up so I can sell this clutch from this Ford that I don't have anymore. Um, and so yeah, my wife uh, she she graciously reminded me that I had to do that. I was like, all right, honey, I'm coming home. I'm all excited. I get to come home with all my parts. And he's like, oh, what about that guy? And I'm like, oh, yeah, what about that guy? He's probably not coming, but I'll ask anyway. So I asked, and he's like, yep, dude, I'm on my way. I'm only an hour away. I'm like, <laughs> okay, let's go get a coffee. So anyway, that's the end of my video, guys. This is a little bonus section, okay? Uh, thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.